Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. Today I will talk about the month of November 2022 for the sign of Taurus. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Taurus, then this is your video. Um, it's a little bit windy, but I'm filming from a country house in the middle of nature. There's a lot of farms around. And uh, I wanted to do a change of scenery. Um, one, because I need it for myself to, to really be back in nature because I miss it when I'm in the city in uh, my apartment. And I mean, this is a really beautiful place in the middle of the mountains. So we're quite high up as well. And the weather is just absolutely amazing. It's really warm. It's, I mean, it's the end of October by now and it's like, it's still really warm, which is not very common. Um, so Taurus, we have um, a very exciting month ahead in November and, you know, we have this full moon, total lunar eclipse in your sign in Taurus, right? And yeah, this is going to really push you towards your own full identity. So the 8th of November, it's 16 degrees. This eclipse is going to close off all the eclipses that have happened before in Scorpio and Taurus. And you have Scorpio in the seventh house together with Venus, uh, with Mercury and the sun. So you're ready to let go of patterns when it comes to your relationships. Whether you are in a relationship now or not, you want to change the way you look at relationships so you're not going to sacrifice your own identity to be with someone so you're going to let go uh, of that the same goes for um being in a business partnership like uh, compromising too much or uh, overly giving you're gonna find more balance in give and take and you realize that when I when you are a complete a whole and complete person the other person can be also whole and complete and people who do not accept you completely for who you are Taurus it's not meant to be with you so some of you are gonna be quite rebellious with Uranus there uh, in the north node with the moon you're gonna uh, come out with something you know about yourself like I really wish to do this type of job I really uh, want to I don't know I really want to go this direction in my life you're going to tell everybody what it is that you actually want we have a huge tension with Saturn and Saturn is in your 10th house so 10th house is public image the way you want to be seen uh, the way you want people to perceive you in work um, so you're going to change the dynamic between uh, what you do for others, uh, but you're not going to do it at your own account anymore. So giving yourself away, right? If you already am really good at this naturally, you don't really have to worry. It's going to be for some people, the changes are going to be more prominent than others. You might like change your looks. Like I want to change the way I look. I want to change the way people perceive me. I'm, I want to fully embrace my identity. And uh, some of you just want to experiment as well with different type of uh, looks or identities. And this is totally fine, right? You want to be fully grounded in who you are. And I really like that from around like the 14th of November on. They're going to be a lovely trine uh, with Jupiter, Venus, uh, the Sun and Mercury. And this is going to, um, because we have Jupiter back into Pisces, right? And for you, that's in your 11th house. And this is all about community, friendships. And we have the planets in your 7th house trining this whole bunch, right? Um, I see that around so 16 of November Venus will go into your eighth house right so seventh eighth house so you're really um, I feel that maybe when you come out if you are in a relationship this is a scenario that could happen where you say like I really would like to do this and your partner will go on board you're going to 
together uh, be with friends, together explore new communities. Um, this is partly what could happen. It could also be that your part partner is letting you more free. Like you go have fun with your friends. There's gonna be a lot of blessings when it comes to, yeah, maybe you're meeting new friends through your business partner, to your romantic partner. And if you're single, right, you're just letting go of old habits. You just wanna be out and maybe you'll meet someone new. Um, but with Mars retrograde, it will most likely be someone that you're more mentally connected with because any physical connection with Mars retrograde is not really going to last, right? Because Mars will go direct. And I'm not saying that this is in all cases true because it's not. Uh, it also depends if you have that Mars retrograde in your chart. Uh, for you, Mars retrograde is in your second house. So there are going to be some irritations coming up when it comes to work and how you make money. So you're going to be maybe frustrated with your salary. Maybe you feel like you're working really hard and you're not really getting like the, the results that you wish for. I really hope this is not making you dizzy. My camera is a little bit shaky. I've never filmed outside, so this is really new. So Taurus, yeah, a lot of changes, like a lot of changes on how you communicate, how you, uh, yeah, there are gonna be some irritations regarding money, maybe the work situation, because you're doing a lot for very little, or some of you are looking for a new job. Okay. So keep moving forward. I'm getting the card of traveling. So some of you might make a travel. I see number three, which is third house. So maybe like a short trip, like a short trip. Um, yeah, maybe with your friends or your partner. And uh, not all partnerships are going to last during this uh, eclipse season. And for you, Taurus, uh, but I never want you to be scared because a really a relationships that meant to last will last. A relationships that meant to last will last, okay? They will last. Okay. I'm seeing stability and a home. So maybe you are thinking about buying a house or you want to save money to, to buy a house, but you have like property in mind, renting your property, selling your property. So I'm getting breaking loose of cycles here. The compass is telling you, you can break out of these cycles and you can really move forward and uh, follow the direction that you really want to go towards. Like, don't be ashamed to fully be you and fully be yourself because, you know, you deserve to, to find your happiness and, and, you know, we have this, um, new moon in in Sagittarius as well before I forget <laughs> talk too much um, yeah we're going to have that in your eighth house so again this has to do with other people's money so there could be some inheritance uh, coming your way um, maybe friends are investing or helping you with some project that you're doing um, you could be going into therapy or doing some spiritual session. This is going to help you a lot. But there is going to be a new view on life where you fully embrace yourself, where you're not going to let other people stop you from being your true identity, which I think is lovely. Let me get you an angel card to close down this wonderful reading for you, Taurus. Triumphant. You see, you're going to be absolutely successful. So keep going, right? You're on the right track. You're getting the compass. Practice makes perfect. So this is Saturn in your 10th house. Now you're practicing, right? We, we don't always learn from an easy time, right? We don't always learn from that. So it's very important to speak your truth, to stand up for yourself and to really take things to the next level right so through hardship you will get the job that you want and now you're learning all the skills you're learning to have responsibility that will ultimately lead 
ultimately lead you towards the success that you really crave for. So thank you so much for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see many more videos. And also leave a comment below how this resonates with you. I really appreciate your support and your love. And I hope to see you next time. Love you. Bye bye.